it, it's very natural when you find yourself in front of a very large class to feel nervous. And, and in fact, one of the things I always like to highlight to people is, is it's very natural and it's in fact very adaptive, that it shouldn't necessarily be viewed as a negative at all. Uh, it should be viewed as a positive and, and there are things you can do that will help you do that. So, I mean, on a, on a strictly energy basis, nerves give you energy. They make you animate. They make you interesting. Uh, the worst, if you ask a student who their worst professor is, it's typically somebody who stands and reads and is boring. So the very fact that you're nervous, first of all, should be seen as good, as a positive. You've got energy. Then the question is, how do you use that well? Uh, and so the second thing I, I always like to highlight is make sure you're prepared because the real source of those nerves is a threat that you're going to in some way make yourself look silly or, or not be as professional as you might like to, to be. And so there are a couple things you can do about that. And one of them is to really be prepared. Know the material you're talking about. And the more you know it, the more you go in there feeling confident, uh, the more this is going to be energy that you can use to communicate and to perform in, in, you know, in that sense of the word, um, and the less it'll be some sort of thing that, that eats away at you. At the same time, you also have to be willing to realize you don't know everything and how powerful it can be when a student asks you something you don't know and you say, I don't know. Um, that can form a real bond with students, and so when you go in with that combination of knowing what you can know and being willing to accept that you don't know things and react appropriately, then what you have is a really good energy. Uh, a couple other things I'd also always like to mention is, is see the opportunity that you have. So yes, a, a big room can make you feel a little nervous, but it also means you have a lot of people listening to you. And as somebody who's in a band, for example, we fight hard to get 10 people out to listen to us. And when I walk into a classroom and see hundreds, to me, that's the mentality I take in there. Wow, I've got a great crowd here, and let's have some fun. Let's, let's create a good experience. And so if, once you start thinking of a large class that way, it's, it's less ominous and it's more exciting and fun. Uh, and that's how I like to view it. And the nerves are really the first part of that. That's, that's just you getting ready to go.